You, just, you can see it's kind of loose. It doesn't have a whole lot of structure to it yet. It's very soft. And in order to tighten up that outside, any round, we're just going to go ahead and bring it together into the center like a clover leaf. And that just helps to tighten up the skin. We'll then tighten up a little bit. That helps to do two things. One, it makes the skin nice and smooth. And two, of course, it helps to break up some of those bigger bubbles and degas a few of the extra bubbles we don't need. With it tight like that, we'll put a little flour down. This is the fleur. Now, we have a little extra ball of dough, which we can use, which is kind of nice, because it'll be a nice big fleur. Normally, if you want to have that piece in the center of the floor, you need to have take the piece out, put it to the side. Um, but if you have a little ball like this that's extra, you can use some of that as your center. Real simple, with a, with a rolling pin, press down. You could do it just like that too. Some people do this. It uh, looks a little funny, but uh, it looks also like a big piece of barley. You know, so. There's the second one. We're going to do it again in both directions. I do it until I feel the wood kind of touching on either side here. So it really makes it thin. That totally makes sense though. I know, right? Yeah, as soon as you see it, it's like, oh yeah, that makes total sense. And it does. I mean, it's so, it's so simple that it's surprising. Now, if any of these pop up on you, you can always go back and redo them to make sure they're good. And Good and done. As for the center, if you have a little ball of dough like this, you can take a little chunk of it, and we can then moisten the center, make sure it's going to stick, and we'll just round up a piece. Boop. And there's the fleur. And we can just put that right on a parchment, right on a sheet pan, and let it proof, let it get bigger, and it'll be ready to bake. Now, if this ever does want to expand, usually it expands here in the cracks. So it'll poof, poof up a little bit. But the lines will remain, and it'll tell everybody where the portions are, so that even in the family, they could they could know how many people it'll serve. In this case, nine. You know, it has nine portions.